um, welcome to Storytelling with me, Amy. I am a writer, mainly for grown-ups, but I read a whole lot of children's storybooks to my son, Zach. And I am doing a reading for you guys this afternoon on two of my favorite storybooks. The first one, Where the Wild Things Are, and the second one, Oi Frog. Um, these are part of the exclusive books, 70 books to read before you grow up campaign. And I think you should read them whether you're a child or a grown up because they're absolutely brilliant. So let's begin. So I'll start with Where the Wild Things Are. By Maurice Sendak. Where the wild things are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So Max was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day and in and out of weeks. And almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Goodness me. Till so Max said, be still and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And hanging from the trees. Dancing through the jungle. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved. Bye-bye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him and it was still hot thank you very much i hope you love that story um the next story is quite a funny story, so listen to the very, very end. This one is called Oi Frog by Kez Gray and Jim Field. So. Look at all these little look at all these little froggies here. All the things they're doing, eating 
flies and winds. Hey, frog. Oi, frog, said the cat. Sit on a log. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all knobbly and uncomfortable, and they give you splinters in your bottom. Look there. I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on a log. Can't I sit on a mat, asked the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the cat. What about a chair, said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting on a chair. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. Here's a hare, also known as a bunny. Um, perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. There's the mule. A mule's like a donkey. What about a sofa, said the frog. I could stretch right up on a sofa. Gophers sit on sofas, said the cat. It's very simple, really. Cats sit on mats, hares sit on chairs, mules sit on stools, gophers sit on sofas, and frogs sit on logs. What do lions sit on, said the frog. Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Oh, there he is. That must be sore. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on carrots. Doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. It's not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. What do foxes sit on, asked the frog. Foxes sit on boxes, said the cat. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas sit on peas. Now you're going to have to look very closely for this one. Ooh, can you see all the fleas sitting on peas? What do goats sit on? asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats and cows sit on plows and storks sit on forks. There's the goats on their coats. There's the cow on his plow. And there's a stork on a fork. What do gorillas sit on? asked the frog. Gorillas sit on pillars, said the cat. Gorillas sit on pillars. Cats sit on hats. Weasels sit on easels. And moles sit on poles. There they are. What do seals sit on? asked the frog. Don't you know anything? said the cat. Seals sit on wheels. Doves sit on gloves. Newts sit on flutes. And apes sit on grapes. Look at that. Ape eating his grapes. What about puffins? asked the frog. Puffins sit on Muffins. Snakes sit on cakes. Owls sit on towels. Gibbons sit on ribbons. Lambs sit on jams. Bees sit on keys. And pumas sit on satsumas. So a satsuma is another word for an archie. So there he is. Um, well. I never knew that, said the frog. Well, you do now, said the cat. What do dogs sit on, asked the frog. Do you guys know? What do you think dogs sit on? I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, said the cat. Oh! Dogs sit on frogs. Thank you so much, everybody. Hope that you enjoyed story time and thank you, Exclusive Books. Um, have a lovely afternoon.